about them and and what we can do through them. I go through a method or I went through a methodical step by step process and uh, have learned a few things. So please tell us um, what kind of um, things you have done. Like what kind of uh, actions did you take? Uh, first, I was I was. Uh, Wondering if I could go through without revealing my accent is uh, the first Sorry, thing. Could I inter interrupt you? Could you say first I was trying to go through the border patrol checkpoint? checkpoint so yeah. Okay. Thank uh, you. First I was going. I, I tried going through the border patrol checkpoints to see if I could get through without revealing my accent, and uh, I did that by handing the agent a passport and saying nothing. And I and I wanted to uh, record my. Uh, the way I, I acted and uh, set up some cameras to uh, see that what I was doing. So the set of cameras that you're using, you've been using it now for quite a while. Tell us about your like your procedures or how you uh -huh. yeah how you use it. Yeah, I've, uh, I, I I had first started uh, video mapping the roads and I was trying to capture like. Uh, all my surrounds and uh, I also uh, recorded what was going on inside the vehicle as well and noticed uh, people were uh, commenting on on uh, my transitions to uh, Border Patrol checkpoints so I decided to cover them uh, further in depth. I, uh, I learned that uh, the people I work with and the community that I lived in was uh, kind of trapped in a in a place where we couldn't leave the town of Yuma without going through a border patrol checkpoint. So this made you decide to test the system, right? Yeah, I, well, I, I wanted to test the system because I, I saw other people were running into problems. I didn't really run into um, many problems myself other than maybe being held up in line for uh, quite a while. Uh, so I, I had when I was going through with a, a friend of mine from Poland, I realized uh, how uh, how he had, uh, when I would go through, that uh, I could easily say, uh, yes, I'm a U.S. citizen. And I knew he couldn't say, yes, I'm a U.S. citizen without revealing his Polish heritage. And so that would bring him into mm -hmm. trouble? Or uh, he he uh, didn't seem to want to talk to him too much or give them. He he tried giving them a driver's license. They didn't accept a driver's license as a, a proof of of his right to remain in the country. Um, and he tried giving them a social security card. They wouldn't accept that as uh, proof of his uh, right to remain in the country. And then he uh, just spent a long time arguing with the uh, border patrol agents. Uh, standing outside the vehicle and kind of bouncing off my car and irritating me while I, I waited for uh, them to finally uh, let us go on. Okay, please tell us about, you made this video where the border patrol is smashing your window. Could you tell me briefly the whole encounter, like, yeah, how that all went for Okay. I had spent a few months, uh, I had talked to some people fr from work and we were trying to figure out a way to get, you know, uh, make the videos more interesting and I spent some time trying to get them to uh, bust my window open. Uh, I had seen uh, 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 Pastor Anderson get his window busted in by some sheriffs when he refused to go to a secondary area and they removed him through the uh, from the vehicle and I... Uh, when I saw that video, I, I recognized the, a little red hammer that they uh, used in that uh, video was uh, a little hammer I had used, I had stolen from a bus in Germany and that would help you escape from the bus if there was a crash. And I decided I would try to, you know, kind of turn the tables on them and, and carry that hammer and, and be ready to break out of the vehicle myself if they weren't willing to break into it. Um, so I, I had spent like two months, uh, I'd put cameras on my body. I was hoping to get an invitation to a secondary inspection area and, uh, trying to, 
I had brought actually a, a dustpan along in case they wanted to, uh, after I broke the window, if they wanted to charge me for littering, I'd sweep up the, uh, the ex excess glass. Uh, <clears throat> and I would uh, put body cameras on myself. When they took me out of the car, I wanted to uh, be able to record what happened afterward as well, as well as uh, outside the vehicle. Um, so I uh, had made a few costumes. Uh, I made, made a like a little wrestling outfit with a cape, and uh, uh, it had a E and a B for Ein Berliner. I, I went and said Ich bin Ein Berliner uh, nine when uh, the uh, agent asked who I, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, <coughs> uh, Oh, okay. He asked me my citizenship, and I, uh, I said, uh, "Ich bin ein Berliner, a nine, which was a number nine instead of actually the, uh, the nine is uh, no." Uh, later, I, I dressed up as, uh, in in a like an '80s kind of outfit, uh, and I was uh, trying to identify with the community of Yuma that was that I was in. And I came up with a little song that I sang to the agent when I came to the checkpoint. It was. Uh, he, uh, he asked me where I was coming from, and I said, "I'm a, I'm a U-man man." And he says, uh, asked me, said, "Oh, okay." Uh, so, and uh, you know, uh, are you, what country are you a citizen of? And I sang my little song. I says, "I'm a man, man, man. I'm a U-man man. I ain't got no nuclear arms. They're pumped up with dumbbells and a little charm. And that little charm, it's in my pants." It loves the women. Oh, it likes the women. It loves romance. And he's like, "Oh, okay, go along." Okay. Um, and I also dressed up in a like a kind of a uh, like a chemical warfare outfit. There, I had a a gas mask and uh, some uh, like a chemical suit on that I went through and. I had made a I had bought a piñata in Mexico and I dressed it up like an alien and I handcuffed the alien in the back of my vehicle and I drove uh, drove through. I had stuffed it for uh, Mother's Day. I'd put some uh, things in it. I had stuffed it with airheads and uh, uh, like a book uh, from some people, some lady I, I kind of knew uh, through a friend and then uh, put all my like letters uh, for skipping high school in there for my mother to to finally see that she hadn't seen for years and I just kind of filled it with um, mementos uh, for Mother's Day that uh, that they could bust they could they could beat this alien up with if he didn't say anything I, ha I think what uh, what I come up with that was uh, like uh, when I drove through there I was like if the alien says nada beat him like a pinata and uh, so, so the piñata didn't say anything uh, when we went through the checkpoint. So, you know, I brought them to my uh, mother's house, and uh, they they beat the the stuffing out of the piñata. Uh, when I uh, so I, I was I was trying real hard to get these um, agents to get me through uh, get me out of the vehicle, but uh, everything I did wouldn't work. When I finally gave up. Um, in uh, Pine Valley, California, uh, I finally got them to uh, uh, stop me and, and direct me to secondary. Uh, when I said nothing and uh, went through the checkpoint, uh, I was uh, I had decided I, I didn't want to reveal my accent or let them sniff inside the vehicle. And uh, they decided they liked to break into the vehicle. Yeah. Do you need something to just to hmm? uh, wipe your face? Is it too hot for you? Or hmm? you no, I'm fine. Okay. I... I just sweat when I have to think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
sneaking in. Okay, yeah, try to, to keep uh, the sun in the, in the eyes. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, okay, please um, tell me what the US Border Patrol is allowed to do when US citizens pass and what they're not allowed to, just really briefly. Um, I guess I was I was trying to figure out what they are allowed to do and what they aren't allowed to do. Um, and I just, like I said, I tested it on my own. I don't think uh, they'll always tell the truth in, uh, uh, if you ask them. So I tested that out myself. And uh, I, I believe uh, they need, if they want to uh, get inside a, a person's uh, vehicle, they need a probable cause to uh, do that. When I was in Pine Valley, uh, I don't know what probable cause they had uh, when they broke into my vehicle. And I learned later, too, that they didn't really have any probable cause to get in the vehicle because I could hear uh, the agent uh, and, and see him push down on my trunk after they some some agents broke in the back and he told the people that uh, or he asked them if they had a warrant to uh, look in the trunk and they said they were uh, doing a weapon search uh, and what I learned later was a, a weapon search is uh, allowed within a, a person's grab zone so something I, that I could reach with my arms would uh, be allowed by them for a weapon search um, I've, I've learned you don't have to uh, uh, respond or you know uh, to requests or what they ask you to do you don't have to do what they ask you to do that you're required to do what they order you to do and um, at that checkpoint if they gave me any orders I didn't uh, know what they were or I didn't receive them so back to that situation can you tell us Exactly what happened after you drove into the checkpoint, like in a, in a, in the sense of saying, then they drove into secondary, then they mm -hmm. would look into your window. Can you tell that, like in kind of a picture sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. When uh, I first came up there, I was uh, conserving uh, battery power for a table tennis event that I was going to. Uh, so I had uh, cameras just inside the vehicle. They. Um, uh, and I was expecting them just to wave me through because that had been what had happened to me for the previous two months and I wasn't able to go to the secondary area that I wanted to. Um, one, uh, the agent who stopped me um, just motioned uh, with his finger to put the window down and I uh, left the window sealed uh, and he uh, took a stop stick and placed it in front of my tire uh, and indicated that I shouldn't move. Uh, after a little while, they called out a dog that sniffed around the vehicle and uh, indicated there were no drugs or concealed people in my vehicle. Um, they called a, a lady out, um, uh, Agent Flores, with a taser and uh, she kept the eye, I guess, to tased me in case anything happened and then uh, the um, agent in charge, uh, Agent Blanchard, he, uh, he called the sheriff out to uh, try to, I don't know, maybe check my license plate and try to figure out who I was and uh, the sheriff that they called out uh, uh, kind of motioned for me to put the window down and I just uh, took pictures of him and uh, uh, after a while he, he kind of lost interest in and he left the um, uh, and the agents uh, motioned me to go over in the secondary area after that I and, and I did because I like I had been trying to get to that secondary area for uh, a couple months one second mm -hmm. Very, that's, that's good that way. Mm -hmm. Just have to wait for them. Mm -hmm.
Feeling well? Hmm? You're doing good? Yeah. Great. That's good. I think we can take a while, you can step out. Uh, uh, this we is want. fine. Huh? <laughs> I'll just move into the shade here. <laughs> Oh, somebody from there. 